Hello everybody, this is Baron the Bear, and this is another short video guide for the game Final Order New Horizon. Uh, I've noticed that some of the Alliance members in my Alliance have a little confusion with understanding how to construct your Alliance fort as quickly as possible. Uh, what you need to do is once your fort is being built, you need to go click it. Go to build, hit deploy, and you notice that I have different tier troops here. You want to move uh, all of the T4, like since T4 is the only highest I have, you want to put all of your T4 into the building. And then you just hit March. Now you can look at the construction process by going to details. And you can see, so as of now, we got four members uh, building the fort. Uh, if you click into each one of those, you can see what troops they have. Now he's got T4 and T3. Let's see who else we got. Gav, he's got T4, T3, and T2, and T1. Now, what he could do is he could just pull out all of his T2 and his T1, or his T3, and it would open up more room for others that have T4 tro troops to put into the building. Uh, right now, the construction units were almost at max. So no one really can put anyone else into the constructing of the, of, the, of the fort right now. So it would be a good idea for players to pull out their low-level troops so that people can put their high-level troops in. Another function, a good function, I mean, to understand uh, about the Alliance fort is uh, if you see this blue square around the fort, this is the zone that your base should be in if you want to get the buffs that the base, that the fort offers. Now, if you're on the line, like if I hit teleport, now if I'm in the middle like that, then I'm, I'll get the, the buffs. If I'm outside of the line like that, I won't get any of the buffs that the Alliance fort gives. So you have to be at least on the line to get the Alliance Fort buff. Now, if you want to look at the Alliance Fort buffs, you just go to the Alliance Fort, go to Functions, and you'll see what what right now is right now what we have. You get a boost in gathering, production, uh, uh, more storage in your warehouse, and uh, uh, when an enemy is in your uh, fort area, their burn speed is 800 times. So it's a big, big difference. So anyway, this is Baron the Bear, and I hope this video helped. And if you like the content, you want future content, feel free to like and subscribe and post below if you have any questions or any ideas for videos. Thanks. This is Baron the Bear, and I'll talk to you guys later.